friends, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade. And today I wanted to show you my new um, dot uh, alphabet, or actually they're phonics, dot strips that I'm going to be using with my kids um, in this next school year. We're finished with um, the 2016-2017 school year, so we'll be using these next year. Um, but I want to show you how you could use them and just some um, ways we're going to be using them and what they're used for. These are really, really great for kids who are struggling readers or need kind of reading intervention, but they're also good for just really early uh, readers who are just learning sounds and, and you just need some practice. So um, they come, I have three sets. So I have the alphabet beginning sound set. So it has every letter of the alphabet. I have a set for ending sounds, and then I have a set for um, vowel sounds. So these are medial vowel sounds. And so I'm going to start with, I'm going to take those ones and take those ones, and I'm going to start with showing you just the regular um, beginning sounds. And basically all it is, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can do it. It just has capital A and lowercase a here, as you can see, and then it has um, the different pictures for the beginning sound. So what they're going to do is they can just do it with their finger if you want. Okay, so what they can do is they can just take their finger and you would say, ah, ah, and then they would say, they would touch each dot, ah, ah, alligator, ah, ah, apple, ah, ah, ant, ah, ah, astronaut, okay? Or you can use little objects. So these are, um, you've seen these in my other videos, these are little pom-poms with magnets. I love using them on the trays like this because they stick really good. And they're perfect to fit in these. So they would say, ah, ah, alligator, ah, ah, apple. But anyway, they're just practicing the sound. Ah, ah, ant, ah, ah, astronaut. So that's one way is to, one way is to use their finger. Another way is to use pom-poms with magnets. Um, and so I have, for every letter of the alphabet, they can do the different sounds. Okay. Um, let me show you then, these ones are um, ending sounds. So I'll just pull out the ending sound for D. So this is capital D and lowercase d, and you would tell them D says D, D, and you're listening for the ending sound of the words. So another thing you could do is just use little objects if they have little toys. These are little um, bear counters really that we use for math, but you can use them for this because they stand up pretty good. And so I would say d, d, bed, d, and they would put a little object in the circle as they say it. Card, bird. Now if the child is a little bit more advanced, then they could try to come up with a word that ends with D after they've done all the ones on the card. Okay, another way to do it is Okay, I wanted to show you another one. This is ending sounds again, but this is a soft sound. P is a soft sound. It says p, p, p. And so um, you don't want to say p because then you're adding a vowel to it. When I say p, you hear a u. You don't want to do that. You want to just say p, p, p. Okay, so when they do the sound, they're listening for p at the end of these words. And another way you can do it is you can use just some alphabet letters. And you get, I'm going to get out the P's, and then what we're going to do is they can do it like this. They can say, p, p, mop, p, 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 cap, p, p, top. Okay, so they can do that. All right, now let me show you the middle vowel sound strips that I have here. Those are ending sounds. Again, I have a whole stack of them. They all come in the same download, so I'll put a link below where you can get all of these. These are also gonna be used in my kindergarten um, curriculum. So if, you ha if you've if you already purchased the curriculum, these will be coming in the next, let's see, unit four. Um, so, you know, stay tuned for that. You'll get them free with unit four if you've already purchased. And also, um, these will also be in my, I'm gonna be adding them to my um, kindergarten and first grade bundle. So anyway, I'll leave links below to everything. But let's go on. So these ones are the vowels. So I have A, E, I, O, and U. And let's just take E for a second. And we're listening for middle vowels. And another way you can do this is if you have a dry erase marker. And so they can just write the letter. So they would say A, A, T, N, 10. This is hard to do with one hand. 
hen, hen. And the way they can do this is if you laminate them. I've laminated mine, so they're nice and sturdy. And since I've laminated them, the dry erase marker will just wipe right off. And then web, web, web. Ten, hen, web. They're hearing the eh sound in the middle of each of those words. Okay, so those are the different um, ideas I have for using just objects, using just their finger. Um, the way we learned it when I was a teacher was um, just to you know use their finger and touch each one. Um, but I like using the different objects because it just kind of gives them a little bit of practice with, with dexterity and um, you know fine motor, and they just like to do it that way. So. Um, you know, any kind of object will work. And like I said, even just the magnet letters is kind of nice because it's reinforcing the letter as they put it there. Or again, the dry erase marker is kind of nice because they're actually practicing handwriting as well when they write it. So the, that is it for today. Just wanted to show you guys these. And I am all set. I printed mine out and I laminated them and they are ready for next year. So I'm super excited. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Um, sorry my videos have been sporadic and um, as you know, I've had my baby. So we are just, you know, hanging out here with baby number six and trying to relax. And he is 10 days old today. And he is taking a little nap and so is my one-year-old. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this video. And actually my three-year-old fell asleep too. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna quickly get a video in. So if my videos are kind of sporadic over the summer, you know why, but I'm still going to try to, um, keep up with them and, uh, you know, keep you guys updated. I want to do some videos on like things I'm going to plan for next school year. I haven't done any planning yet. All I did was just, um, I did that one video I showed you where I've kind of, um, got my, um, planning stuff all in a backpack but um, I haven't actually done any planning or anything for next school year yet. But once I do, I wanna reorganize my cabinets and my school stuff too, and I'll try to do a video on that once I do that. But it'll all just be stuff I'm gonna kinda do over the summer here and there. So, all right guys, I'll see you next time, bye.